god, you're not gonna be able to see these because I'm hiding behind my windshield. But there's grasshoppers. <laughs> there's really big grasshoppers. <laughs> it's like getting hailed on. Oh god, there's more of <laughs> them. I don't want to stick my head up because I feel like I'm going to just eat one straight in the face. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well, uh, welcome to Eastern Oregon. I'm back. Uh, I'm heading down to Fields to start the Oregon VDR. Oh god, there's a bunch of them. So, Eastern Oregon, start of the Oregon VDR, or as I heard it referred to, and I will be referring to it from now on, the Orbiter. As in Ermagerd, the Orbiter, I am back on the road. I've been on the road. I've just been filming other projects. And uh, we're gonna get back on the off-road stuff and do the Oregon VDR. I am 87 miles from Fields. So I'm gonna get there and get settled in and then I will chat with you there. All right, welcome to Fields. Sorry, I'm trying to finish my chocolate shake before I have to drink it. Um, it's really good. <laughs> just got to Fields. Got one of the four little motel rooms. There's like eight other bikers here. I'm leaving from here, not Denio Junction, and that's for one important reason, and that's that plush it doesn't have gas. I heard from somebody here that potentially they are hand pumping it, so I filled up my little one gallon giant loop gas bag and topped the bike off, and I'm just gonna plan on going all the way to Christmas Valley, which is about 250 miles. Not going to the Denio Junction because it's an extra basically 40 miles of out and back that I don't need to do. So I will see you in the morning and we will go check out the Orbiter. And yes, I'm in my underwear. If you can tell, you shouldn't be able to, but I just ditched all my gear <laughs> and I'm trying to finish this shake. So screw it. I don't care. I'm in my underwear eating milkshake. Lots of lots of bikes. All right, idiot check. Spesticles, testicles, wallet, watch. There should be about 130-ish miles to plush, because I did cut off basically 20 miles of the route. Lots and lots of bikes out. There was probably five or six different groups that I saw yesterday. The Oregon BDR, let's do this. I did stop in Redmond on my way through and they're going to do my sprockets and tires when I get through there at the end of section four, I believe it is. Yeah goal is not to go super fast or anything. Probably camp somewhere between Plush and Christmas Valley today, so on section two somewhere. There's a lot of people on the route. Overland Expo is going on this weekend. A lot of the guys I talked to didn't seem to have done a whole lot of research on the route. They kind of thought it was just, you know, dirt roads and stuff. It's like, no, this is supposed to be one of the more challenging ones. But yeah, I'm back back and I'm back on the BDR. I have been riding. I just have been working on a project that I'm not doing the filming for, so I couldn't share a whole lot from it. But I just got back from Tuktoyotuk, Northern Territories, Canada, as part of a veteran's ride for suicide awareness. But yeah, more stuff will be forthcoming about that. They've obviously got to do the editing. Feels good to be out and back on the dirt. After this, I will be heading over and doing the parts of Idaho that I've missed. And then I'm kind of back on pavement working on this other project that I'm working on for a while. So, not sure how much dirt I will be involved in for the rest of the year. So, apologies, but this might be the only real dirt videos you get from me this year. Those grasshoppers yesterday were hilarious. One of the other guys described it as being in a paintball match. And that, I realize that's the perfect description for that. Just dodging paintballs at 70 miles an hour. You do gotta be a little careful on the rocks out here because they're very similar to Washington. Some of the stuff in Nevada and stuff, you know, it's volcanic. And so some of them can be very sharp. The uh, filming expedition was struggling with flats, pinch flats. I 
cantaloupe. All right, nobody behind me. Is there any more of you, or is it just you? All right, bye, speed goat. They're not technically antelope, but everybody just calls them pronghorn antelope. They are actually closer to goats. that you gotta pay attention on. Yeah, I definitely got an early jump on the day, but I don't know what the temperature is gonna be like this afternoon. I'm not trying to roast out here. At least in the desert, getting an early start is definitely preferable. mom at turn little one turn god you're stupid so beautiful out here eastern oregon's a desert folks if you don't know that come out and experience it yourself you will figure it out real fast most of this is at least pretty rideable if it's wet because it's still kind of that volcanic stuff. Obviously, if you're just getting poured on, probably not a good idea to be off-road. A light rain, like what I had yesterday, shouldn't be a big deal. Domingo Pass is probably a good, like, introductory thing. If you're, if you're fighting to get up there, you probably need to chill because it's going to get more difficult. So I will not be doing the alternate hard sections. Same deal as the other routes, you know, I'm by myself. I'm not looking to get hurt or anything. You know what? It reminds me of the Pony Express Trail in Nevada. That's what I keep coming back to. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, here we got bikes. How's it going? Doing good? We're good. Yeah, no, there's four of us. We just camped out right here. I kind of figured, yeah. Yeah. It's a good spot for it. It is. Uh, so is that going to put me in the middle of your group? Or? You're fine. Don't oh, worry okay. about it. All right. You go I your pace. There's exactly. definitely people behind me somewhere. I've been seeing dust trails for a while. So okay. There's a lot of people out today. Oh, yeah, I hear. Yep. All right. Well, take it easy. Yeah, we're gonna go down here, I guess. Yep, big rocks. It's just those stratification layers. You get through the little short rocky bits and you're in the clear again. Boop, boop, boop. Is he just like rocking out or what? <laughs> that guy's actually staying up with me. I think he started standing up more. Oh, that's a gate. Is a good place to stop? It's a gate. Oh, you're not tied. <laughs> oh, there we go. Do you mind letting your last guy know to shut it? We're gonna wait for him actually. Okay, yeah. Cool, have fun. He's like, you stopping for a minute? I'm like, no, there's a gate, dude. God, that is. 
is just amazing. Look at it. I want to like look around, but I'm also trying not to drive off of the two track. I might get rained on. That really does look like rain. There's actual rain. And it stopped. <laughs> me, that's a hell of a turn. Yeah, some people have gone white on that. Didn't see that till the last second. Damn near single track. It's pretty close to single track. You better have the GPS tracks because you would never route find this with the map. Yeah. Ah, okay. the hill come on don't hit that rock either hi cows all right so yeah that is Beatty's Butte the diversion for it is still up here ways and then there's a workaround for something up here I gotta look because I might have to take it because some stuff around like Heart Mountain Spring and some of that's still closed Pretty big rocks in here. Gotta pick your lines. Or just hit them with confidence. <laughs> This is not the route. I went the wrong way, but. Sorry, ladies. I gotta come across here. a little bit of Oregon single track yeah that was very much the wrong road slash not a road because there it is <laughs> oops so the left there up the hill is to Beatty's Butte excuse me little ones back to mama thank you and it's only like a four mile or something out and back but I guess it gets progressively harder the further up you get could I make it probably would I fall over probably at least once also probably we're gonna go this side I cannot tell how dare I can see geez I could not see into that until at the last second all right here comes alternate and I don't know if this is the one that I have to take 
Yeah, so that's the alternate to go to Heart Mountain Hot Springs, Seasonal Gate Closure, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely going to be longer than the Wildlife Refuge bit. track. Yeah, there's some deeper stuff in there. Not really much to say. I mean, there ain't much out here. I got 34 miles to the end of the alternate loop. I'm not sure how much further from there to plush. Recording, no idea when that stopped. Who knows, I probably wasn't recording for most of that. Oh yeah, some of that's deep. Okay, you're recording at least. Oh, you are, okay. All right, I might be able to maintain enough speed to uh, keep the cameras cool enough to not overheat, but if they die again, that's... Two hours later. Head cam going. Hopefully it'll stay on. It's cooled off and I have more wind, so I would think so. And I'm 17 miles from plush. Apparently somebody in one of those groups, I'm not sure if it was a group that I saw, wadded it up and got hurt. I never saw any sign of an accident, so not sure what happened with that. Yeah, that was a gnarly little trail. I'm not sure when the camera died, but it was, you know, slow and rocky. I feel bad for anybody who's out there now, because it's only getting hotter. Boink. Whew. All right. Not carrying spare fuel now, so I'm lighter. I am carrying two liters of water though, so I'm probably gonna have to dry camp. I don't know, we're gonna see where we get. I'm not really gonna try and get to Christmas Valley, because that'd be another 100 miles in the hottest part of the day. Yeah, there's gonna be a fair amount of carnage on this route, because the group of guys that were in there, only two out of the five continued on the route. The other guys, one thinks he cracked some ribs, so he's headed to urgent care. And the other guy was uh, not looking to try and do this kind of difficult stuff, and so he is heading home. But apparently somebody on Fanny's Butte got hurt and had to be searched and rescued out of there. But that was a good long break. That was two hours, basically. We'll see how I feel. I have two liters of water. I still have my camel back. And yeah. I'm gonna get my ABS turned off real quick. Yeah, you end up kind of route finding some of this stuff. It'll get, you know, packed in a little bit once more vehicles come up here, but it's definitely not there yet. Yep, we're going right through there, damn. Whew. 
Sorry, it's gonna be heavy breathing for a minute. I'm hot. While I'm moving, it's not bad. But man, the moment you stop. At least my bike doesn't run hot. I can't tell if that's wet or not, is it? A little bit. It's damp. It's not water, but... Ah, shade. That feels good. That was a piece of bike. Not sure what it was. It looked like maybe it was a wind deflector or something. Super pretty. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh man, yeah, they put some big gravel down on this. minutes later. Don't know when my head cam stopped. It's really annoying though. No. Oh, see, this is a fun power line road. All the ones in California and Nevada are just crap. The power lines just go off <laughs> to infinity. sure if I caught it on the camera or not. Barely saw it. Just feels like it goes forever. Well, that's pretty. Am I still recording? Yes, okay. 